if you need any Xbox or PlayStation codes or any cheap PC games, use the referral link in the description. It will take you over to G2A.com. They already have a discount on most of their goods. And if you use the code CHEZ at checkout, you can get yourself an extra 3% off as well. Hey guys, how's it going? Chez back again and welcome to episode number 28 of the Wolfsburg career mode here on FIFA 16. As you can see, there's been a couple of big deals gone through already this window. David Luiz moving from PSG to Juventus, which is a bit unfortunate considering we play Juventus next in the semi-final of the Champions Trophy in this pre-season invitational. On the positive side though, Real Madrid have accepted the counter-offer of £12.5 million pounds for Dante, so it does look like the Brazilian centre-back will be leaving us and we'll be able to increase our transfer budget and hopefully have the money to bring in some real marquee signings here, but uh, we qualified from the group stage with Al Itihad and they face Atletico Madrid, who are the other side to come out of Juventus's group. Now, we've obviously we played Juventus before in this career mode. They were in our Champions League group and we played them with uh, Real Madrid and Club Bruges. Now we ended up finishing third in that group and getting knocked out into the Europa League from the group stage. So we kind of wanted a little bit of payback here on Juventus if we possibly could get it. We got a win against them in the group stage and then we also got a defeat against them in the group stage. So uh, it was kind of one apiece and this might be the decider. They're playing a 4-1-2-1-2 with Pogba, Pereira and uh, obviously uh, David Alaba at left-back, who uh, they appear to sign in every single career mode. Mary Manzuki so gets it to Pereira out to Alaba. They get the advantage here from that uh, move, but Benaglio is able to make a good smart save at his near post. And the first half was pretty slow, to be completely honest. I was obviously playing a little bit more defensively, considering I know exactly what Juventus can do to us, having uh, experienced it last season. And then in the second half, as we uh, tried to uh, kind of pounce out of them on the counter-attack, they kept trying to catch me on the counter as I countered, so to speak. As you can see, they're pulling through here. Mandzukic into Pogba, who draws another good save out of Diego Bernalio. He was top draw for us last season, Bernalio, and he's seemingly on form again this year. We make some changes, though, around about the hour mark. Obviously, like we said in the last episode, you can make an infinite amount of changes in, uh, in pre-season tournaments now, although obviously you can only name seven substitutes, so... I guess you can make seven substitutions rather than all the previous three. But uh, Mandzukic, again, having another effort here and another good save from Benaglio. They continued to be on top, Juventus. They were by far the better side. But they'd been so dominant and, uh, you know, been catching me on the counter so many times that they actually were too tired towards the end of the game to hold off our final attacks. Tolisso breaks through our first chance of the game, or first worthy chance of showing you in a highlight, and we score. Tolisso squeezes it inside the near post with a huge slice of luck, thanks to the deflection off the defender over the goalkeeper, but there's a man free on the far side. Gabbiadini decides not to use him, shoots with his left foot, but the keeper can only palm it as far as Mbolo. We have ourselves a 2-0 lead in stoppage time. Mbolo on the rebound. That is us through to the final of the Champions Trophy. Whether it was deserved or not, I'm not entirely too sure, but we will definitely take it. So uh, we're through to the final as our Atleti, as you can see, 3-1 victors over Al Itihad in the other half of the draw. So we will play the Spaniards in the second game of the episode in a short while. But obviously we have some transfer business to be dealing with between the two games. As you can see, Heather Berlin have accepted the counter offer for Kern Castiles. So the Belgian goalkeeper looks like he'll be leaving us as well. And we took a nice boost in our uh, transfer budget from getting through to the final of about another two and a half million pounds so that will come in very handy indeed and obviously yesterday we uh, and the video before that actually we outlined what my uh, transfer targets initially would be for this season so far I did say that I wanted to go after Jetro Willems to uh, have a replacement left back that's exactly what we're doing and then taking on your opinions for uh, the striker role that we're looking at. The most popular was Alvaro Morata of Juventus, who we just played. Morata came off the bench in that game. It didn't have too much to do, to be completely honest, but obviously we've uh, made a decision about Max Cruiser as well, thanks to your guys' feedback in the comments section. So Cruiser will be leaving us, definitely, whether it be as make way in part of a deal or out, you know, for a, a, an outright cash bid. And if I can, I'll use Cruiser as part of a deal to bring in a replacement striker. Antoine Griezmann was uh, probably the second favourite alongside, probably joint second favourite with Thomas Muller with regards to the, uh, the feedback in the comment section of the previous couple of videos. But Murata was definitely the standout choice. So Murata's my number one target, but obviously Thomas Muller and, uh, and Antoine Griezmann are 
pretty decent backups, to be completely honest, and we are going for that marquee striker signing. A few people actually were saying that Boney is genuinely a very, very impressive striker this year on FIFA 16, so we will continue to uh, have a look into him as well. As you can see, Cruiser plus a handful of uh, cash here, not too much, because uh, Boney's only valued at around about 20 million, and obviously Cruiser's valued at 13 himself, so... Uh, we get a strange deal here that I wasn't accepting. One for Francisco Rodriguez. He's got okay potential, but obviously we brought in Inyaki Williams and Sofian Faguli, so uh, we don't necessarily need him. I'm going to counter off for four when he's only valued at 1.1, because I'm not overly keen on selling him, but if they're going to give me £4 million for a 68-rated player, then obviously I'll take it. But Dante confirmed as sold to Real Madrid, so we'll take the extra cash into our transfer budget. That will go nicely into uh, the kitty to go towards our new striker and left-back signings, and obviously see any further signings we make after that but this is the final then of the champions trophy as you can see starting uh, some of the players that weren't involved previously or too much in the earlier rounds with the uh, Hakan Talanolu at Cam and Cruz actually starting up top rather than uh, Mbolo or Fekir so uh, this could questionably be Max Cruz's last game in a Wolfsburg shirt, as you can see, Atleti starting a similarly very strong side. 4-4-2, Griezmann up top, as well as Jackson Martinez. Javier Pastore, weirdly, on the left-hand side of their four in midfield, which is uh, obviously not the best position to get the best out of him. But, I mean, that's fair enough. If that's what Diego Simeone wants to do, then uh, we'll let him make that decision. It's only beneficial to us, with uh, Pastore having less of an impact on the game. But Cruiser and Toliso link up really nicely here. It was a very smart save down low by Jan Black to ensure that we don't take the lead on the half hour mark and again as was the case with the Juventus game this one was very tentative in the opening first half obviously both sides trying to feel each other out not really sure which was uh, you know, which way the game was going to go Oliver I wasn't even sure which way Oliver Torres was going to go in that particular attack fantastic dribbling from the youngster draws a good save out the goalkeeper and they will get themselves a corner here we'll see if Atleti can take the lead obviously we've been playing with Atletico Madrid on uh, on stream this year on, uh, over on Twitch, so uh, we know kind of what to expect from them, but obviously we've made a few signings in that particular career mode as well, so the uh, the side is slightly different, and obviously we play a 4-2-3-1 formation as well, but it's nice to see in this particular episode, in the two games, we had to, we got to have a look at Murata, and we're going to get the chance to have a look at uh, Antoine Griezmann as well, obviously two of our three big potential transfer signings this season, so uh, it's kind of a nice scouting mission to be completely honest, but Chan Nolu scored a great goal earlier on in the tournament, this time though his shot's blocked and Varinha on the rebound hits the outside of the post with uh, an open goal to aim at, although it was from a very acute angle, Chan Nolu causing problems again and then Oliver Torres just completely chops Manolo Gabbiadini from behind trying to get the ball, I was headed away from goal, the referee tells Oliver off by waving his hands through his body, Max Cruz steps up to take the penalty and arguably what could be his last impact as a Wolfsburg player Max Cruiser gives us a 1-0 lead in the 56th minute from the penalty spot we are ahead in the final of the Champions Trophy clearing it out from our goalkeeper here uh, Gabby Adin he's not the quickest he's fast enough but he's not absolutely rapid but he's got enough pace to get away from Saul here Fakir could have played that down the line again but in instead switches it to Inyaki Williams who eventually brings it down and with a very smart finish across the goalkeeper into the bottom corner we have ourselves a 2-0 lead with only a matter of minutes remaining so we are looking like we are on course to get ourselves our first piece of silverware here as Wolfsburg manager obviously we weren't able to win the Champions Trophy last year or the Invitational Tournament I think it was actually the Champions Trophy we did last year as well and in fact we round it out with another goal from Max Kruser 3-0 the final scoreline here in the uh, in the final they are going to have one more chance here but spoilers they're not going to score from it so uh, we are able to get ourselves a, uh, a piece of silverware we didn't win anything last year but we did get obviously the good third place finish in the Bundesliga but Max Kruser with a brace kind of really frustrating that considering we're moving him on because last year we didn't score many goals and then he goes and scores two against Atletico Madrid, Madrid. so uh, never mind sorry Max you're still on the way out we want to bring in some new fresh talent and we will try and do so in uh, this particular episode if we possibly can 3.2 million extra added to the transfer budget as well thanks to that trophy win so very pleased with that, obviously. And uh, Kurt Castiles has been sold now to Hertha Berlin. So uh, we have actually a young goalkeeper that is growing very, very nicely in this save. 
one of the youngsters. So uh, I'm not really too fussed about letting Kel Castiles go. So uh, hopefully he can step up to the plate. Obviously still trying to work out a deal for Jetro Willems. They weren't keen on Christian Trash as uh, as kind of make weight. Juventus, though, were immediately accepting the offer of £20 million plus Max Cruiser for Alvaro Morata. I was quite surprised considering his value at £33.5 million. So we'll take that. Thank you very much. We'll see if we can get that deal done. Antoine Griezmann that they wanted a little bit more money for and uh, they weren't keen on uh, Max Cruiser either. Neither were Bayern Munich. So decided to... Uh, prioritised Thomas Muller over Antoine Griezmann and obviously Alvaro Morata the uh, deal has already been accepted for 20 million and we'll have to or we have offered him a contract now for uh, for 110,000 pounds a week and uh, nobody else appears to be interested in Max Cruiser but I'm pleased that Juventus were because uh, we might be able to bring Morata in but that's going to bring today's episode to a close guys as you can see we've got a good two weeks until the season begins with a game against Bruce Moots and Gladbach which won't be an easy game either to be honest to start the season off but uh, maybe Alvaro Morata might be in the starting lineup for that game but that's going to bring today's episode to a close thank you very much for watching guys drop the video a like if you enjoyed of course and subscribe if you haven't already check the channel page for anything you may have missed over the past few days whether it be this series the my player series where uh, we might be moving on and i need your uh, your feedback in the comment section of that video that went up earlier on today as well so uh, definitely hit the channel page up for that and obviously all of my social media links are in the description down below but feel free to let me know any more transfer suggestions you might have in the comment section of this video and any future videos whilst we're still in the window and i will look into the players that you suggest but for now that's all from me for this evening thank you very much for watching guys and i'll see you next time